fighting COVID-19. Handball practice involves regular playing, exercising, interacting and fighting against opponents with close contact. So, what do we do when players have to keep distance during training? It's a challenge that educators and coaches all over the world are struggling with. How do we engage kids with fun, authentic, meaningful, full of energy handball activities while maintaining a safe learning environment during COVID-19? In this video, we will share some ideas and tips hoping to help. The scenes were captured during real training sessions and lessons without any prior preparation or selection of skillful players or learners. Warming up. Key ideas to increase protection. Choose fun and lively lead-up games that discourage gathering and face-to-face -face situations. Avoid chasing or tagging with hands. Use various types of movements, change the frozen positions and ways of freeing. Use games that limit physical proximity. Increase safety. When using tagging games, encourage players to wear masks. Ideally, everyone should have their own ball and not share it. Encourage players to keep some distance while performing tasks. Use diverse and challenging movements. Combine footwork, running and skipping when handling ball. Jumping and ball throwing and or catching with different techniques. Ball handling drills can be interspersed with running competitions. Practice with one hand both dominant and non-dominant and with both hands. Use a variety of body positions while throwing, catching, bouncing. When introducing a running competition, the targets must be strategically spread out on the floor or ground. Knocking down cone game. Introducing some competition and fun while staying apart. Throwing and catching with social distancing. Keep stable pairs during the session or set of sessions. Progressively increase the difficulty and movement complexity. Two-handed throw from different positions. Forcefully throw towards the floor or ground with and without jumping. Throw towards floor or ground forcefully with dominant and non-dominant arm. Challenge them to practice different types of catching and throwing while improving coordination and balance. A combination of static with dynamic throwing and catching can be used. Use hands and feet. When introducing some competition, avoid tagging or chasing. Footwork, skipping, combined with throwing. Use different forms of movement, ball handling, combined with different types of shots. Ideally, everyone should have their own ball and not share it. Actively encourage players to avoid staying gathered while waiting for their turn. 
ideas to work out three steps approach and shooting skills. Multi directional forms of footwork, running agility, and skipping when ball handling. Obstacle running, jumping, and dribbling combined with shooting. Use action boundaries to keep the distance. Avoid direct body contact and face-to-face -face positioning. Change body position and challenges. Sanitize floor and equipment before and after use. Few players involved and the defender greatly constrained. Increase the number of players. 3 on 2 and 4 on 3. Increase safety. In game like situations, encourage players to wear masks. Use task constraints to foster scattering positioning. For example, it is mandatory to go around the cone after passing. Set up several markers on the floor or ground. Attackers attempt to score several times in a row to achieve one point. Introduce variation. Change the number and position of markers. Sanitize shared ball and markers after use. Introduce variation. The receiver's aim is to catch the ball inside or across the goal gates. For example, two cones. Knocking down cone, three on two. Set up playing areas as shown. The yellow markers limit the zones of receiving and passing. Defenders are not allowed to steal the ball outside the bounded area. One of the defenders is assigned to protect the cone. Game play 2 on 1. Spread out several goals where they have to bounce the ball to achieve one point. Defenders movements are limited. Increase complexity. Set up several goal gates where they have to make a bounce pass to achieve one point. Physical contact is not allowed. Progressing to a more realistic situation. Defender's action is restricted to the line between the cones. Defenders should carry a ball with both hands. Manipulate action constraints, space time, to limit face-to-face -face duels according to player's level of performance. Use action constraints as shown to limit physical proximity. In one-on-one -on -one situations, Wear a mask. These tasks work on both offensive and defensive individual skills. One-on-one -on -one progression game with two supporters.
mirror tasks, mirroring each other's movements with shooter's time-space advantage over defender. Gameplay 2-on-1 followed by 2-on-2 with individual marking. Use defensive action constraints as shown to limit physical proximity and close contact. Key ideas to design COVID-friendly game forms. Increase the interplayer distance by reducing the number of players on the court. Minimize own game time in close contact and duels by using numerical advantage, for example, 3 on 2 and 4 on 3. Game form 3 on 2 with an empty goal. Goalkeeper plays as a court player. Game form 4 on 3 with an empty goal. Goalkeeper plays as a court player. Ban physical contact. Rule out shooting with opposition to limit face to face situations. Wear a mask and sanitize shared ball after use.